The Crusades began because the Turks were destroying Christian churches and were torturing pilgrims. Now, there were other reasons for the start of the Crusades, but that was kind of the biggie. So remember, the Crusades also began because the Pope wanted to expand his power uh, eastward and into the political realm. Um, of course, Israel-Palestine was controlled by the Muslims, and that kind of annoyed the Christians, of course, but that wasn't the primary reason. And, of course, the Byzantine Empire was pretty concerned about the growing Muslim religion. So there were a bunch of different reasons, but the key reason that was really told by the Pope was that the Turks were destroying Christian churches and were torturing pilgrims. So if the primary reason was Israel-Palestine being controlled by the Muslims, the Crusades would have started much, 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 much sooner than they did. Um, the Pope was sending missionaries to the Holy Land. Um, that's part of the reason why the Turks were destroying churches and torturing pilgrims. Um, and the Byzantines and the Turks had been fighting for many, 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 many years. Um, but at this point, it was the Byzantines that were retreating and were concerned about the expanding Turkish forces. So again, the Crusades began because the Turks destroyed Christian churches and tortured pilgrims. The Crusades began because Israel-Palestine was ruled by Muslims. The Pope wanted to send missionaries to the Holy Land. The Byzantine Emperor attacked the Turks. Or the Turks destroyed Christian churches and tortured pilgrims.